So what is a shelf company? A shelf company, also called an aged company or ready-made company, is a corporation, LLC, or similar entity that was filed on a prior date. So let's say a company was filed 10 years ago. You can buy it and then you will own a 10-year-old company, like antique furniture, fine wine, collectible coins, vintage automobiles. Its value can increase with age. I've been in the company formation business since 1991. I believe we have over 70,000 clients in our database. We're the world leader in selling shelf companies. And if you're watching this on YouTube, can you please do me a favor and click the like button below so YouTube will promote this video. Thank you so much. And you can also click the subscribe button so that when more videos come out like this, you'll get notified. Let's say you were an architect, engineer, builder, or other professional as a sole proprietorship for several years. You don't want your secretary to drive off to grab you some lunch, hit somebody, and then leave you on the hook for it. So you want to take advantage of the lawsuit protection and tax benefits of a corporation or LLC. But you also don't want it to look like you just got started. So you can obtain an aged company with a similar age to your sole proprietorship thus maintaining your existing longevity. A corporation by law is a person separate from the owners. Now, according to Wikipedia, corporate personhood is the legal notion that a corporation is separate from the associated human beings, like owners, managers, or employees. Thus, it has at least some of the legal rights and responsibilities enjoyed by natural persons. So when you buy stock in Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, you're buying stock in an aged company. In the case of a shelf company that we're discussing here, you typically buy 100% of the entity rather than just a few shares of stock. Now you can change the name of the company, change its type of business, but the age stays the same. Even if the company sat dormant for a while, its original filing date marks its age as a separate entity. Here's an analogy comparing a human person to a legal corporate person. John was a 25-year-old airplane pilot. He crashed his plane and went into a coma. Then 25 years later, he comes out of the coma and becomes, say, a barber. So he goes from flying planes to cutting hair, a totally different profession. Say John changes his name to Fred, moves to another state or country. How old is he then? At that point, John, now named Fred, is still 50 years old regardless of the activities that transpired between his birthday and now 50 years later. It's the same with a company. A corporation or LLC can operate and then go into a coma, so to speak, for failure to pay its annual renewal fees to the government. Once the prior owner pays those fees, the company comes out of its coma and it's active and in good standing again. You can change its name, it can operate a new type of business, say from lawn mowing to construction, change locations, say from Wyoming to California or New York, change owners from the prior owner to you, but for legal purposes, it is a legal person separate from its owners and its age is based on its original filing date, just like the birth date of our coma revived pilot turned barber. For example, Tiffany and Company started in 1837 as a stationary company. They sold weapons to the U.S. Army and surgical equipment. Now it is a very different type of business selling luxury jewelry. Avon started in 1886 selling books door to door. They used to give away free perfume to get in the door, and now they're a well-known beauty products company. Nokia was founded on May 12, 1865 as a paper mill. They turned wood chips into paper products. The company was bought and sold numerous times. Now Nokia is known as a mobile communications company. Abercrombie & Fitch started in 1892 as a sporting goods company selling fishing equipment and tents. They filed for bankruptcy in 1977. Years later, they became known as a leading fashion apparel brand for adolescents. These companies are all over 100 years old, so originally all of the original owners of these corporations are dead and gone, and the businesses have changed drastically. But the companies themselves are separate from the individuals associated with them, and the company has its own date of origin, separate from the ages of those people. But the age of the companies lend great credibility to the business. So in this competitive world, how do you stand out from the crowd? How do you lend credibility to customers, lenders, the public in general, and do it legally? Today, you can purchase an aged shelf company and obtain instant longevity. Now, we recommend full disclosure that you let others know that you recently obtained the shelf company, that it was dormant for a while, and now it is a different type of business. So we're not talking about tricking people here. We're talking about being totally transparent while at the same time taking advantage of the legal personhood of an existing company and using the laws to your favor to obtain a competitive advantage. So you can look people right in the eye and tell them honestly that your company is 2, 10, 20, 100 years old. 
You can tell them that you just recently obtained ownership of that company and that business longevity can lend credibility to your business enterprise. What are some of the other advantages of a shelf company? One, to save time. Let's say you have a real estate closing and you would like to buy it in an LLC right away. In most cases, we can email you the articles and the tax ID number in PDF version the same day you place your order. You can use them the same day and you can usually open a bank account the same day. Number two, to bid on contracts. Some organizations require that your business be a certain age before you can qualify for consideration. So get legal advice from an attorney on all these things we're talking about here. We have attorneys on our staff, but you might be able to bypass the waiting period by placing the bid in your own aged company. Number three, borrowing money from lenders. Some lenders will only lend to businesses that are two years old or more. Again, use full disclosure. Number four, equipment and office leasing. Many leasing companies won't rent office space or equipment to companies that are less than six months old. Number five, public perception. Just like the sole proprietorship turned corporation or LLC, you don't want to look like you just opened shop yesterday. So an aged company can tell the true story of the lifespan of your profession. So how do you obtain a shelf company? All you have to do is make a call to our staff at 1-888-444-4812. That's 1-888-444-4812. And you can also fill out a free consultation form on our website and ask about obtaining a ready-made shelf company for your business. We look forward to hearing from you. Please click like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is The Business Guy.